Hey guys, welcome to my mouse keys guide. As you can see on your screen right now, this is my old mouse keys guide. And this was released on September 24th, 2010, so I figure it's time to do a new one. So let's get going. I understand that this video is kind of long, but I wanted to make sure I included everything important. Uh, so if you guys, if this guide does help you out at all, or you found it interesting, or you just want to help support me, then feel free to thumbs up or favorite the video. It does always help, and it is greatly appreciated, appreciated a lot. Also, if you're not already, feel free to subscribe for all sorts of RuneScape guides, PK videos, progress videos, and all kinds of content. Alright guys, so I created my own little numpad over here in Microsoft Paint, and I'm going to show you what each key does with mouse keys on, and uh, mention a couple things that could be used for. Um, so we'll start with the obvious. The most used one is probably two. This is for the straight drop down from top to bottom, and then we move on. We'll just do this in numerical order from now on. Alright, so if one goes diagonal bottom left, three goes diagonal bottom right, eight goes straight up, four goes to the left, 6 goes to the right, 9 goes top right diagonal, 7 goes top left diagonal, plus double clicks and enter does nothing. I just couldn't leave it out of the picture. One thing to note about the double clicking plus button in RuneScape is it's a little weird in the way that it works, being that it doesn't double click in your actual inventory. As you can see, I can single click and then if I use the plus button here, it only clicks once. But if it's not the exact in your inventory, it'll still double click. I'll show you right now, like if I were to click plus on gold bar, it would then select the next one. As well as if I were to do this, press plus there, it would drop and click outside also. As far as just for clicking straight away in your inventory like that, it does not double click. I do mention this later in the guide, but I feel like it's worth mentioning really quick right now. But if you are using mouse keys to jump, you cannot talk while you have the jump function active. Uh, so I'm just telling you that now, and I'll explain why later on in the guide. But I figured I should throw this in there for you guys real quick now. Some of you are probably wondering what mouse keys are. Mouse keys are a function in Windows in the Ease of Access Center or the Accessibility Options, depending on what Windows that you're on, that help you replace the mouse movements and clicks with buttons on your keyboard. One of the main questions asked about mouse keys when it comes to RuneScape is, is it legal? Will Jagex think I'm botting? Something like that. No, they're, the way the Jagex detects bots and other things have nothing to do with what you're, how you're going to be using mouse keys. As well as Jagex has confirmed it in many forum posts and tons of things. There are even big guides on mouse keys on the RuneScape official forums. It, mouse keys are perfectly legal to use. There is one thing about mouse keys that has been a subject of controversy, and that is using the plus key. The plus key acts as a double click option when using mouse keys. So you press the press plus key down and it clicks twice for you. Now the rule of thumb with mouse keys is one, well not just mouse keys but things in RuneScape in general, is one input is supposed to equal one output. So a double click for one click shouldn't be correct. And that is only half right. It has been confirmed by Jagex that the plus key is legal to use. Uh, thanks to Zarfot for uh, explaining that to me a long time ago after I had originally met him. But this, for those of you who are wondering, I couldn't find any official posts on it now. Uh, but if for some reason you don't believe me, feel free to post it on the RuneScape forums. I'm just saying it out here loud out here nice and loud. Uh, I use the plus key all the time. A lot of top players in RuneScape use mouse keys and the plus key is absolutely legal to use and so are mouse keys. One catch with mouse keys though is that it has to be the mouse keys that's already pre-installed and usable on Windows it has to be the Windows version. You cannot download an outside mouse keys program. No matter how legitimate that they claim to be, it has to be the mouse keys that are dis in the ease of access center accessibility options already pre-installed on Windows for you. There are ways that Jagex uh, detects other kinds, and I can tell you right now that from experience that one of my old friends actually got banned because of just one simple keystroke difference between the mouse keys and their functions and how they worked. So make sure that if you're using mouse keys that you use this guide or another guide uh, that has to do with only the pre-installed Windows version of mouse keys that's already on your computer. Any outside program that claims to be legit is not, and yeah, I think that covers it for you. So now some of you are probably asking, well, how does this help me at all in RuneScape? Well, my answer to that is because you can do stuff a lot faster with your keyboard pressing buttons than you can just moving your mouse also more accurately. One example is dropping items. Another benefit, as you can see right here, is using it to drop down the options more quickly, so fast that sometimes you can't even see that it's dropping, and it helps out your skilling to go much more quickly. Or perhaps just using it as a double click to withdraw items from your bank faster. And of course you could even use it as a combination. Use the one button to go down diagonally and use the plus button to drop and re-click the mining ore at the same damn time. There's all sorts of cool things you can do with mouse keys. 
Besides just having the ability to drop down a certain option faster, it also has the ability to left click. So say you're doing something like dropping or choosing an option while doing construction or anything like that, all you have to do is right click with your mouse, drop down with the 2, and then right click with the 5, and then boom, you've now dropped an item. One problem you may run into while clicking, or using 5 to click or whatever, is suddenly this will happen when you click. It will right click and left click at the same time, and you're like, why the hell is it doing this? It's not supposed to be. Well, I will show you right now. What that basically means is on the numpad, you accidentally hit the star button. When you hit the star button, uh, it does a thing where it right clicks and it left clicks at the same time. All you have to do is click the parentheses button, uh, or not the parentheses, the slash button above the 8, and it will fix this for you. And go back to just left clicking. Alright, so let's get to setting up mouse keys. I learned how to use mouse keys on Windows XP, and when I moved to Windows 7, and Vista, it was pretty much the exact same and just as easy. So you should be able to use this guide for any of the windows as far as XP, Vista, and 7 goes. Um, for those of you on Macs, I'm sorry, this uh, guide is not for you. The only other difference between Vista 7 and Windows XP is on Vista and 7. It is called Ease of Access. After you go into your control panel, you're going to go to Ease of Access. And on XP, you're going to go to Accessibility Options. Last thing I want to mention before we get into this, it is possible to still use mouse keys with a laptop, but the only way you're going to be able to do that is with a program that I used when I had my laptop called Key Tweak. I'm not going to link you guys to any Key Tweak because I looked at the old link that I had and I, it's not working anymore. Uh, I tried to re-download it, so I don't know where you can get Key Tweak from. You're asking if Key Tweak is illegal. It is because all it does is it moves around the keys on your keyboard. Um, and what I mean by that is I'll bring up my on-screen keyboard here real quick just to show you there we go it what it would do is you could tell it to put the P where the O is and the O where the P is so when you clicked P it would be the same as clicking O this way it's a little bit more convenient so instead of having to use say the 2 and the 5 key to drop something and then click you can move it over to uh, the parentheses and th the um, apostrophe. This way it's a little easier for your hand and you don't have to reach as far over to the right where the keypad is. Also for laptops, because laptops don't have a keypad unless you have a USB, you could uh, use Key Tweak to move a keypad literally onto your keyboard uh, because when it would come up it would come up with the same as this on-screen keyboard except with a number pad over here to the right and be able to move the number pad onto the uh, keyboard itself. The one thing, if you guys are going to use Key Tweak, is just so you know, you have to switch both things. So if you want to switch, if you want to put the P where the O is, you have to switch the P to the O, and you have to switch the O also to the P. Um, so you should be able to use this guy to set up mouse keys on a laptop as well if you are able to find a legitimate Key Tweak program. And the reason it's legal, I'll say it one more time, is because all it does is it moves around the keys on your keyboard. It was originally made as a program for disabled people to help them get around their keyboard and type a little bit easier if they couldn't reach to a specific thing. Alright, so let's get the mouse key set up now. You just want to go to Start and then Control Panel. If you're on XP, uh, you're going to click on Accessibility Options and you'll go right to the correct screen. If, you go to Vist, if you're on Vista 7, click Ease of Access and then go to Change How Your Keyboard Works. Now you'll end up on this screen on either any one of the windows. So this is going to be basically how you want your screen set up on this one. You're going to want turn on mouse keys checked, turn on sticky keys checked, and everything else unchecked, um, except for turn on toggle key by holding down numlock key for five seconds. I just have that checked. All right, so once you're in here, you're going to go to set up mouse keys, and this is going to be the kind of settings you want in here. Don't pay attention to the top speed or the acceleration yet, just everything that's clicked and that isn't. You're going to want to use mouse keys when numlock is on. You do not want to display mouse keys icon on the taskboard or on the taskbar. This will screw up your clock, it'll make your computer freeze. It is absolutely horrible. You don't want any of these keyboard shortcuts on either. Alright, so before we get any more into this, I'm going to tell you right now the acceleration does not matter. What the acceleration is for is for your how fast your mouse accelerates when you're not jumping. But since you're only going to be using mouse keys for jumping or clicking, you're never going to need the acceleration. I'll give you an example right now. If you look at my mouse, it's moving down slowly and accelerating very slowly. Alright, and if you turn the, that up, then it'll just go up more. But we are going to be using mouse keys like this, either to jump down like that, or to click or double click, however you're going to do it. Either way, acceleration does not matter where you have it at, it will not affect the jump at all. Next thing we're going to talk about is the pointer speed. You can see where the pointer speed is at right now. This is where I like to have it when I'm dropping stuff or using it for whatever options that I'm doing uh, clicking for. <laughs> um, like construction or dropping items and such like that. 
So depending on where you put this depends on how far your mouse uh, drops when you click 2 to drop. So uh, you'll see, I click apply and it's on the top, how far that jumps now. Obviously that's not going to be much of use to me, so I have it down here. Now moving this bar around isn't the only way to decide how far your mouse jumps. I'll show you the other way right now. Just leaving the control panel for a second, bring up the mouse properties, go to pointer options. This has very two uh, important things that have to do with mouse keys. Enhance pointer position and pointer speed. Now, the pointer speed on mouse keys is basically for the big jumps. That makes the big difference. When you select the pointer speed on here, it's for the little differences. So instead of moving, you know, one inch, it'll move 1.1 inch or something very small. Uh, this is where I, I never really mess with this. I have it right there pretty much in the middle, as you can see my settings for it um, on the screen. Now, the enhanced pointer position is something else. Uh, when I'm doing single clicks, like with construction, and I'm just clicking down once with mouse keys, to uh, click the option like as so like boom down once click and then going to do something else like moving my mouse at all uh, then I have enhanced pointer position on it makes the mouse easier to move um, definitely but if you're doing things like consecutively dropping your inventory or dropping a row of stuff you need to turn it off because what enhanced pointer precision does is after the first mouse key jump it jumps farther it's not after each mouse key jump, it jumps a little bit farther on the screen. It's adjusting to your, it's adjusting to what it thinks your needs are. So if you're going to be dropping an inventory of something right away, uh, then in one straight line, then I'd recommend turning this off. Otherwise, you're going to have to do some tricks to be able to um, drop an inventory or a line of stuff. One thing though is you can do it with it on, and the little trick to it is to be dropping with mouse keys and slowly move your mouse up just a little bit as you're dropping, and that works for about four or five items. Um, the reason for that is if you move your mouse just a little bit, it cancels out the fact that you did a jump at all. That's why I say I play with an enhanced point, enhanced pointer position on most of the time because I only usually do one drop at a time uh, for other things or whatever around RuneScape. So it's completely up to you guys how you guys want to play it. You know, try it both with enhanced pointer position, checked or unchecked. See how you like it. See what you can do. And make, make your own decision from there. Last thing to go over in this window is have the hold down control to speed up and shift to slow down option checked. We're going to be using this, like I'll explain in a second, in conjunction with sticky keys to be able to well, hit control. Basically what's going to happen is you're going to use sticky keys, so when you press control twice, control stays selected down. And this is what makes it uh, able to jump because you have those two in conjunction. Alright, so once you've got mouse keys uh, set up now, you're going to click apply and then you're going to click OK. And now we're back on the Make the Keyboard Easier to Use screen. Now we're going to go into Set Up Sticky Keys. These are the options that I have for Sticky Keys right now. And you want to click to Turn On Sticky Keys. You do not want the shortcut. You want the Lock Modifier Keys when pressed twice in a row checked. And then nothing else checked. The reason Locked Modifier Keys when pressed twice in a row is checked is what I just talked about. Basically, you hit control twice and then it is locked in place as locked down and then you can use jumps and such one of the bad things about uh, having it locked like that is you cannot type when control is locked so you can still use five to left kick plus to double click uh, without having the control option down but you need the control thing on to jump so to turn to be able to type all you have to do is hit control one more time and then the jump is off and you can type and when you're ready to use jump again double click control jump again when you're ready to stop jumping hit control and then your jump is off so this is how I have my sticky keys set up once you're done click apply then click OK well I hope this mouse keys guide helped you if you have any questions post them as a comment below but um, I'm pretty sure I answered everything I could in this video a, I do have one plan for a future video that has to do with mouse keys and it's basically going to be a video of me going through every skill and uh, some of the things that I use in mouse keys for just like a video of some music in the background and then maybe like a 20 second clip of each skill and me using mouse keys is something to do with that skill and something I got planned for the future anyways guys uh, feel free to rate comment subscribe all that good stuff and I'll see you later